ready for a huge bathroom makeover. It's demo day! Hey. Today here on To The Sunny Side, we're going to be starting an extreme bathroom makeover right here in my parents' house. My name is Steph and this is my mom. And hi, I'm Michelle and we love sharing simple and easy ways for you to update your home on a budget. We decided to, that we're going to do a huge giveaway with this one. Woot woot. It is going to be <laughs> the biggest giveaway we've ever done. We're going to be giving away a $150 gift card to Home Depot so you can buy that favorite tool you've been eyeing or supplies for your next project. So how you enter is you have to watch this video all the way through and the next two weeks there will be more videos to this renovation series so you have to watch all three videos, do what we tell you in each of the videos and that is how you enter. So watch this video all the way through and in the middle somewhere we'll be sharing how to enter on this one. All right, let's get started by showing you around this bathroom. We're gonna show you what works, what doesn't, some really stupid design decisions oh, yes. when this house was first built. The builder, yeah. And how we plan to make this space look a ton better and way more functional. And I'm gonna get a soaker bath though. <laughs> That's the one thing I've been waiting for. Let's take a look at everything that bugs me about this bathroom. All right, here it is, number one. You got a toilet. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the bathroom. Poor placement. Okay, and the next problem is the light switches. So if I wanna turn on the light, I either have to come behind the door to flip it on, or I have to reach all the way past, and imagine it's dark, to find the light switch over here past the shower. It's just really poor placement. I hate the way that is laid out in this bathroom. All right, the other issue is there's this big kind of unused space and I thought about possibly being able to fit a bathtub here, but there's not, not quite enough room if you want to be able to stand in front of the vanity. So that doesn't work. And the other issue is the shower. I mean, it's a nice big shower, but it's so closed off with this wall. And so it's just dark in here. Just, and we did give the, the bathroom a little makeover to make it look better because we use these little decals to cover the tile because the tile was pink and green. Not my favorite color combination. All right, we already gave this bathroom a mini makeover so I could handle the color. We raised the vanity up a little bit so that it was um, higher. And uh, we also painted the vanity and I don't love the color the way it turned out, but you know what, I just dealt with it. We painted the wall, new lights, new mirrors. Um, we did update the countertop too. We did our own feather finish countertop because the original countertop was really damaged and it only had one sink. So we did add another sink to it. So that has made it more functional and better. And it's been three years that we've done all of this. And, and we changed the floor. Oh, and the floor. I'm coming to the floor. Oh, <laughs> sorry. The floor originally was big white tiles with green grout and I hated the green grout. So we were able to make it look better by painting the green grout with a grout marker. Yeah, grout marker. And then we just put these decals on the floor and actually they held up pretty darn well for three and a half years of use. So now we're ready to make this room what I really want it to be and let me show you my plan. Okay, let me show you the plan of how we're going to make this work because we're going to add in a soaker tub. So this is, I'm gonna turn around, this wall right here. This wall will be gone. This is gonna be gone. And so we'll have a soaker tub here and then the shower next to it. And then right here, we'll be moving the toilet back here. So it won't be the first thing you see when you come into the room. All right, the last thing we want to change here is we need to put the vanity in. And so we're gonna put the vanity along this wall. And because of this window, which I love the big window, it, it lets in so much light, which is great. But I can't put a vanity because of the window. A large enough a vanity. Large, right, I need to have two sinks now that I've had two sinks. So the plan is we're gonna steal a little bit of space from the closet wall here. So we only need 
12 more inches. So we're just gonna move this wall back 12 inches, still a foot of space, and then we can put a vanity here that will have two sinks and make me happy. And Dad happy? Well, it probably will make him happy too because <laughs> I'll be happy. Okay. Because honestly, he doesn't happy care. Happy life, happy life. <laughs> That's right. He does not care if there's a soaker tub. Okay. He just needs a shower. So it doesn't matter. Now I want to share with you the finishes that I'm going to put in this bathroom and you can get a little bit of the feel I'm going for. So I plan on putting in a waterproof laminate floor so that it will bring in some warmth with the wood tones. And this back wall where we're going to have the tub and the shower is going to be this black porcelain tile that looks like marble. Uh, we'll put some beautiful drapes over the window and then um, the soaker tub, a beautiful vanity. I'm probably going to update my mirrors even though they're fairly new and I may keep the same lights. We'll, we'll see. And the other thing is I want to add a beautiful light over the bathtub. Okay, let's do this. They say I'm young, they say I'm down, but what they don't know It's where I've been and who I am, all the ways I've grown Blood in the sweat, tears and regret, made me hot as stone On my own, on my own Put the work in, yeah I earned it It's my day Okay, we had to um, cut out the bottom of the cabinet uh, using just a multi-tool so that we can lift the cabinet up over the plumbing pipes because we're not ready to like shut off the water to the entire house. Just some technical difficulties here. We're just trying well, to take this vanity out. It wasn't coming out. It was <laughs> it was a custom piece and boy there were so many screws connecting all three pieces together that we couldn't really see because they were under hinges and everything. But hence everything is out now. So, so we, we are ready, ready to, to get this up. out. But this is how Remo goes, right? Surprises. Nothing major, just surprises. They're slowing us down. <laughs> All right, so we just tried to lift this up, but you see we got this issue here. We didn't think about that. We're thinking of just lifting it. These pipes, the the base over the pipes, but we got it. But we're gonna have to cut and make this bigger or do something. on this for what two and a half hours we finally have the vanity out there was lots to do before that like yeah dumb we, little things we, like the they, thing had to come, come out the, all the buttload of screws and the top and yeah anyway so, things are taking longer than we thought we thought we would be farther with the demo but nothing major it's going well yeah <laughs> this we is just how, into the shower yeah this is so. just demo life right it's real taking its time Lights. 
speed. Work it. All right, before we can move this drywall um, on the back side of this wall, we actually need to come in the closet and remove the shelves. So on the gas, just getting started. Let's get it started. Pave the way, roads uncharted. Charted. Charted. No problem, we ain't solving. One, two, three. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it started. Ain't no rest, we make noise Love it when you see it so good That you can't avoid Pedal to the metal, we going far Go, going far Boom. On the gas, just boom. On the gas, just get We also tore out all the shelves in the closet because we're gonna reconfigure that and make it a little bit more functional. And we're gonna save all of that for another video series. So keep your eye on our channel for that down the road. You really not budged? What? Move a little. <sighs> Want me to have a turn? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Let's see you do it, Missy. Well, I did all those. <laughs> did you score good? I thought I did. Oh. <laughs> I got it loose for you. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I'm too close. Without somebody loosening it for you. Okay. Okay. Oh my heck. So what do you do? Beat your children? <laughs> yes, Mom. That's what we do on family night. Yeah. Clearly, I had a lot of fun taking down that other wall. So now we are going to tear into this shower wall and really open up this space. Open concept bathroom sure now. <laughs> There's no turning back. Look at all this. It's been fun. <laughs> She's had way too much fun, more than she deserves. <laughs> okay, we got a lot to do still, so and let's get going. You could video. You let's... can film me coming in and go, What the hell are you doing? What?
we did have my dad come in and help with this part because we didn't want to get crushed by all this tile. It was super heavy and hard to pull out. Um, but I would say for this whole renovation process, the poor guy just had to sit back and watch us. <laughs> and I think it was super hard for him to not jump in and help. So good job, dad. All right, I'll turn gray. We're calling it a day. <laughs> I'm going to show you what we got done. We got a lot done. We did. I, we I was hoping we're to get... I know, we're so... Big dreamers. Yeah, we really thought that we'd get the whole room demolished, but well, you know what? This tile is a pain yeah. to get out, and it's so much, and it was built really well. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly, so, but well. Let's show you what we have left. All right, here's what we got done on day one. So we got most of the wall taken out between the closet. We got the closet demolished as well because that all had to come out in order to move this wall. So you can see all the shelves and you can see all the mess that we got going there. All right, on this side we got one wall totally off. We did get the wall taken down between the shower and the other part of the bathroom. And, oh, we were trying to get out the tile in big sections, but it's got the mesh behind the tile at and, least. and then about oh, at least a half an inch of cement um, and then the mortar and then the tile. And so we did get this one section out for, in basically one piece, but let me tell you, it was probably several hundred pounds, and I was so worried that it if it us. fell on me, it would crush us. Luckily, it didn't. But we still have these two sections of the shower to come out, the top where the door was, and then we still have all of the floor to get out of here. And the bottom of the shower, too. Oh, yeah, and the bottom of the shower. So we really probably have another full day of demo. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. It is what it is, that's right. <sighs> it's day two. We're tired. I'm <laughs> tired and I'm a little bit discouraged because the shower is so difficult to get the tile out. Yeah. If you've ever dealt with wire mesh. It's awful. And concrete and then the grout or the mastic and then the tile and then the grout big it's, layers oh and, and it's, it's so heavy yeah and so our plan is to try to cut seams to work, work in smaller sections because yes. this big wall came off okay, <laughs> but it was huge it was and heavy, heavy and hard and, and it wasn't even a full wall yeah. so Wish us luck because we got to get this done. We're tired already. We're sore, but this has got to get done. Yeah. first well kind of the first casualty of the project it's not bad it's just that wire mesh went right through my glove and poked me good so i gotta go take care of it we and we we don't turn the other cheek i can show you how to be strong come on follow me heard you looking for a hero well look up no more running
running from the bad guy. I'ma stare him in the eye like, what's up? I know the journey got hard for a minute, but I ain't giving this up. Yeah, I got the heart of a champion. If I get knocked down, I get back up. We go through bad days, hard times, low pay, high crime, pathways to a life without sunshine. I'm the lifeline. With this life, I'm gonna be the pipeline. Shining in the nighttime, bet on me to swoop down. I'ma go toe to toe, already know that I'm never gonna back down. Bet on me to stand tall, I take on anything for my crew. Bet I risk it all, wicked, wicked people in the streets. Corruption in the politics and the police. It's time to raise up, take a stand against the sea. We made lots of progress today after lunch. We are ready to get the floor out finally. We got all the shower finally ripped out. Cutting that mesh in the middle really made it more manageable to work with, get the pieces out. So now we just have to rip up the floor and our demo is done. And then we can get the plumber in here, reroute plumbing. Oh, we do have to rip out the floor in the closet too and, and finish the wall. See, we're not done, <laughs> but you know, we're making progress. I take on anything for my crew, but I risk it all. Wicked, wicked people in the streets, corruption in the politics and the police. It's time to raise up, take a stand against the seat. We won't take a back seat. I can show you how to be strong. Come on, follow me. Heard you looking for a hero. Well, look up. No more running from the bad guy. I'ma stare him in the eye like, what's up? I know the journey got hard for a minute, but. I ain't giving this up, yeah, I got the heart of a champion, if I get knocked down, I get back up, 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 if I get knocked down, I'ma get back up, if I get knocked down, I'ma get back up, if I get knocked down, I'ma get back up, I'ma get back up, I'ma get back up, I'ma go. Heard you looking for a hero Well look up Yeah No more running from that bad guy Don't worry about it I'm right here What's up I know that journey been hard for you Okay I ain't giving up We ain't giving up I got the heart of a champion If I get knocked down I get back up We're calling it a quits for today We got all the floor out Which feels lovely And Got the rest of the shower ripped out. And we're exhausted. We'll come back tomorrow for more. <laughs> All right, we have one more little project we need to do to make this bathroom work. And that is taking this wall and moving it into the closet a little bit further. This is where the vanity is going to go. And the vanity is going to be a 60 inch vanity and so we need to just get a little more space from the closet area so come on in the closet and i'll show you what we need to do so i'm going to actually move this this edge of the wall over 17 and a half inches so i've made a mark on the wall and, and i've got my laser level circling the, the area and we're just going to use the oscillating tool to cut woo, sorry. <laughs> uh, cut along this line so that we can pull back the drywall here. We have insulation calling. And, and, yes, my husband is up in the, in the attic removing the insulation from this area so that it doesn't come falling down on us when we remove the ceiling piece. Yes. So we just finished showing you cutting out 
the sheetrock and everything so we're ready to move it. And we, we cut down the sides, cut the nails off with a reciprocating saw. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Sawzall, saw, 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 whatever. whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so we cut, cut, cut. And we're hoping that we can slide it into position and <laughs> yeah, crush your fingers and then nail it into place. So wish, wish us, us luck. luck. And you're going to see if it works. And if it you does have a better idea, tell us. <laughs> and if it doesn't, we maybe take it all apart and build it again. Yeah. So we're just trying to save some time. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it takes more time, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, quick break. It's giveaway time. Okay, so how you enter in this video is first you need to go down below in the description and we need your email. That's how we're going to announce to you that you won. There will be a little link right down there in the description. Put in your email in there and it's just that simple. Then you're going to go to the YouTube comments and hashtag to the sunny side demo. And then you're going to tell us about your biggest fears doing a renovation. Or if you don't have any fears, you can say, Reno, I got that. And that will work too. Also in the description, there will be a link to our Instagram page. Follow us and send a DM with the same hashtag to the Sunnyside Demo and tell us what your biggest reno fears are. So we want your email. You need to follow us on Instagram and share your reno fears down below. That's where you'll find all the information and that's how you'll enter. All right, on, on with the demo. demo. without having to take it apart. So now we just need to nail it into position. We're just going to toe nail it in with a nail gun into the side studs. It's always nice when a plan works. When it actually works. And it didn't even take us that long. Yeah. Well, work for well, us. Well, I won't say the cutting, well, the, cutting the nails. <laughs> I know, it's like painting. Prep work takes time, but the actual moving actual went moving, pretty quick. It did go pretty fast. That's it for the demo. Now don't forget to watch the next two Thursdays. They're going to be filled with bathroom ideas and inspiration for your own home. And that's how you enter to win the gift card to Home Depot for 150 bucks. All right, guys, we hope you liked this video. Well, it's all officially loaded up in the trailer now. So, I mean, not like we were, we had any choice of going back on this demo anyway, because <laughs> we did all the demo, but it's officially going to the dump today. Yeah, can you believe that's an entire bathroom in one trailer? Kind of crazy. <laughs> See you in the next one.